What's up my hypelings, HMK here, back from the void that is Breath of the Wild. Oh my god. I just want to make this uh, impressions video about what I've been playing, of course what I can talk about, this will be spoiler free, but I just wanted to give you my thoughts currently on the game uh, in this preview stage leading up to the review and release of The Legends of the Breath of the Wild. First and foremost, thank you guys so much for over 100,000 subscribers. I have a Breath of the Wild and Nintendo Switch giveaway which is going on right now which ends in a couple of days. It ends on, it ends on March 1st, both of them. So check them out, description box below, enter and good luck to you guys. But yeah, uh, I'm going to have some video footage of Breath of the Wild and some of my gameplay in this video but only um, not too much and nothing too revealing uh, in order to loan my storyline. But where do I begin? Where do I fucking begin? Man, for all those people crying about, oh DLC, the game's not complete, boy you, you don't shut your mouth. This game is literally exploding at the seams with content, alright? And Nintendo is making good on everything they've said about the game, which is unreal. Which is, as soon as you get off the grid plateau, you can go anywhere at any time, which is true. You know, there are so many times I've been sidetracked going through this game, thinking that, okay, I'm gonna go to this direction, I'm gonna go to this village, alright, I'm gonna do that dungeon. But along the way, I'm, I, I find myself just, you know, hey, what's that? And then just teetering off over there, and just exploring as much as I can and the world is gigantic it's huge and you don't have to worry about the world being barren because there is like a lot of things to do on the way a lot of things to interact with uh, you'll find the occasional shrine on the way but a lot of, most of them are hidden you'll find shrines on the way you'll find people walking on the roads traveling on the way and they'll be of different races there, I've seen um, a Gerudo randomly in an area that they should not be in, where the desert's over here, and this is where we are. And I'm like, you are a long way from home. Same thing with the Rito, the same thing with, uh, well, not really the Zora, because, you know, they're very limited on where they can go. But the Gorons, uh, ha uh, Hylaeans, even Sheikah. It's nuts. This game is exploring with, uh, with, with content and with personality and beauty in its landscapes. There are so many moments in this game where I just sit there and, and like appreciate what I'm seeing. And what you've seen from trailers and stuff, that is, you have seen nothing yet. You have seen nothing yet. Now it's no secret, now I, I, I'm just saying, it's no secret that Zora's domain is gonna be in this game because it, it is, you know, like Zora's are in this game. But when you get there, I promise you, your jaw will fucking drop, okay? Boy, oh my goodness, like, everything is beautiful. And the characters, they have such personality, none of them feel static. Even the, like, even the most NPC of NPCs, when you see them, they have, they're bursting with personality, you know? Each one of them are different, you care about them, and there's a lot in this game. There's a shit ton. And, um, you know, it's so funny how they interact with you and interact with others because it's truly like a living, breathing world. Let me give you an example of what I've experienced. Now, I'm gonna talk about a village, and un I'm not gonna say what village though, but I'm at a village, right? And um, there's these two people standing guard at a very important house. Then one person is like, okay, I'm going back for the night. The guy stays there, and I'm watching them as this goes on in real time. He walks to his house, comes back, you're relieved of duty, goes to his house, he go, stays in his house the next morning before his shift gets out and says, Oh, hello, Link. Actually, before my shift starts, I'm going to go to this tree and talk with my daughters and give a story time. I'm going to go there. And he goes to the tree and then two random kids from the distance just run to where he's going. They sit down. He's telling story time. You talk to him. Hey, you want to hear the story too? Yeah! It's, yeah! It's like Majora's Mask on steroids. And that's just one instance in one village i've seen this play out in like a, 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 in the various places i've been in that's crazy all right that's and that's just a piece just a very small fragment of the world that you're going to experience come march 3rd it's it's insane and then not only that the music because you've heard we've heard very little of the actual music in this game the music in this game is man so good and trust me there are familiar sounds that you will hear but you know it will go with the very ambience of what's going on in breath of the wild and it really does set the mood for everything that's been going on everything that you will learn going into the game now treading off into combat shrines and weapons like the combat in this game is very intuitive at first glance it doesn't seem like it's you know deep but it is 
you have to do, you really have to deduce what weapon works in the best in the in the better situation against certain enemies because certain enemies are slow they're fast they jump high you know depending on what you fight uh depending on the enemy uh not the enemy but depending on the weapon you have that's the best situation there are some uh weapons that are very very strong as such as claymores but of course they they um strike slowly but they're able to knock shields out of uh, enemies' hands. And you have to think about, uh, do I use a spear? Do I use a sword? It's all about how you handle combat in the moment. And don't worry, when it comes to selecting weapons and selecting shields and arrows and bombs, it's very on the fly it's, and it feels very good. You're going to pick it up in like a second. You'll pick it up before you get off the grid plateau. So don't worry about that. All right? And the enemies are very varied. Very varied. Very varied. So don't worry about like, oh my god. But goblins again, or moblins again. Don't worry about that. Oh, you, you don't even know. Like doing it, like, like the best way to say what I'm trying to say in this entire video, because I'm trying to go by point by point. Nothing in this game feels like a chore. I have had some of the most fun I've had in a game in years, and it's non-stop. And it keeps going, and I'm telling you, I've dumped like more than 20 hours into this game already, and I'm still going. I like, you, you, like, when it comes to certain games, when it comes to like other Z Legend of Zelda games, yeah, I'm gonna use that as a good um, uh, compare and contrast. When it comes to other Zelda games, you kind of have you you have the tunnel vision where when you get to a certain point in the game where you're like, okay, that's the end. You know what I mean? No! Not in Breath of the Wild! I, <laughs> I'm 20 hours into the game and I don't even know if I'm, uh, uh, and I can't, and I cannot see the end in sight. I can't. I really can't. This game will entertain you for hours on end. But this is just my impressions of what I've played so far. This isn't my review. My review comes out hopefully March 2nd. But, um, enemies are smart. They are smart. And they do damage and they hurt. I, this game has kicked my ass. I have died more than 30 times already and that is nothing to be ashamed of because every time I died I either laughed or I'm like okay yeah I deserve that you know so this game will kick your ass so you have to be ready and if you haven't seen my survival guide check that out it's it's all about survivability in this game you have to have make sure you have the right weapons make sure you have a good amount of weapons a good amount of shields good amount of arrows make sure you're stocked in everything and cook as much as you can because that's gonna come in handy because when the game starts really like digging into your sides and it's it'll be different for everybody because the world doesn't really it, the world really doesn't scale all right and I have not seen the entire world yet I have seen a good chunk but there is still a lot left for me to check out and uh, shrines the puzzles in the shrines are so clever like every time I did a shrine that has a, a puzzle because there are different shrines there's um, there's puzzle shrines and there's combat shrines right um, when you do a puzzle shrine and you defeat the puzzle you feel fulfilled you feel like wow I accomplished something and some yeah some of the puzzles are long some of the puzzles are small and don't worry that shoe shrines are very once again very very you know they they're all different and and I've, I I'm not gonna tell you how many how many have cleared but man I I just that is a good chunk of the game. Just looking for these things. Just like looking for them is like AJ Anuma says it was right. Looking for these things is treasure enough, but that's BS. Because once you get into the Sheikah Shrines, you get not only do you get a spirit or for beating it, but the loot inside the Sheikah Shrines always keeps you guessing. I'm like you you see a box and like, what's in the box? What's in the box? And they're like And it's it's something oh my god. That's that's and that's one, and that's another thing that spills out of Sheikah Shrines that goes into the game itself. Looting in this game is so unreal. It's so fun. Like, every time you see your treasure chest, you get excited. And it doesn't matter what treasure chest it is. Every I promise you, every time, like, once you get into the groove of the game, every time you see a treasure, you're going to get excited. You're like, oh my god, there goes a treasure chest. All right, what's in the box? What's in the box? Ah, 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 and... So far, I have not been disappointed by what's in the boxes and stuff. And you just like, you're gonna need a good eye looking at everything for anything. You know, h hunting animals. And th the animals are, are varied as well. Like, this truly is a living, breathing world that you're in. Like, any other Zelda game that claims living, breathing world, Twilight Princess, 
<laughs> they can go shove it because man this game I have I, I've played a bunch of open world games already and this one boy this one oh my goodness it just it is so the world in Breath of the Wild is so interactive it's so alive and there's always something to do and the story in itself I can't really talk about it but yeah I can't talk about the story but they go in they go in like I'm I have to keep this as spoiler free as possible and not talk about certain things in my embargo but all I can say from what I've experienced so far and playing this game as much as I can to go into the review come the second I am extraordinarily impressed by this game like I can see right away why this game got delayed multiple times and that's another thing the physics in this game is incredibly smart it is incredibly smart and a lot of puzzles have to deal with the physics of the game so you make sure you keep that in mind because when you figure it out you're like damn the physics in this game are stupid but not not stupid in a good way because like yo this this is legit this is like legit physics like if you, if you try to do something and you think it will fly because you're in a video game world it, uh 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 no like like an example uh, there's a uh, boomerangs right in the game and you can't throw them and they'll come back to you and you know like oh boomerangs you know awkward of time twilight princess you throw the boomerang and it comes back to you even though there might be something in front of you like a tree or something like that it just fades through the tree and, and like gets back to you and this one you throw a boomerang all right baby come back to me come back to me there's a pillow Pink! and then you read and you don't have a weapon and then you guys scramble and then you got... this game this game is incredibly fun i have had the most fun in a game in this game for a while and that's just my impressions of what I played so far you know I, I want to tell you more I will tell you more uh, as this week goes on and I will reveal more as this week goes on but I mean I have to honor what I uh, agreed to you know I gotta sign up for NDA embargo yada 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 but my review will come out hopefully on the second and um, I will lay bare a lot of things so, uh, I won't, like, it's weird to say, I won't spoil it by what I say, but there will be visuals that will not be barred by the preview uh, embargo, that will be in the review embargo, but uh, trust me, I'll, I'll try to keep it as non spoilery as possible. I mean, you might see an armor set that you haven't seen before, but that'll probably be it, or anything like that. But man, oh man, I this game, this game, I am so ready to go back to play this game! So guys, let me know what you think of this video below. Let me know what you think of my impressions. Does this get you excited? Does this get you hyped? Because this video is supposed to get you hyped. Because like this, this game, this fucking, this, I can't really tell you to get this game because that, that kind of teeters into review territory and I can't do that until uh, one, the review bar uh, goes up and two, until I completed a good chunk of the game because I'm not, I don't review games I don't finish. So. So guys, until the next Breath of the Wild video, I have another one coming out today. I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. Ugh, see you in Hyrule, kids.